Vamos voltar para o começo? Deus criou as coisas do simples para o mais complexo. Luz, água, plantas, animais, homem e, finalmente, a mulher. Entendem agora por que os homens nunca nos entendem? Somos complexos. Talvez... Seja por isso que diz na Torá que Sara era uma profeta melhor que Abraham. Muitos pensam que a mulher tem que ficar com os pés para cima e grávida o tempo todo, mas muitas optam por trabalhar. Existem muitas advogadas, professoras, médicas. Ser mãe é um componente muito importante na vida da mulher também. Significa criar a próxima geração de crianças judias. De fato, as mulheres não têm tantas obrigações religiosas quanto os homens, mas não porque somos inferiores, e sim porque existem muitas maneiras de alcançar o mesmo objetivo. Nós, mulheres, podemos fazer duas coisas que nos assemelham muito mais a Deus, criar vida e alimentá-la. Interpretamos muitos papéis diariamente. Somos chefe, donas de casa, motoristas, trabalhadoras, padeiras, médicas, enfermeiras, estilistas, fotógrafas, força espiritual e modelo a ser seguido. Os homens têm que fazer coisas mais externas para se aproximar de Deus. Não existe uma maneira melhor ou pior, apenas diferente. O real centro da vida judaica sempre foi o lar. Somos nós quem seguramos a chave do coração e da alma de nossas famílias. O nisso presente que me espoco, dá-se da condução da farbunda, me toma a ruiz, me trabalha a batisca, tem vida a monte fria, me queima em um nebul de rulo, que deu a usar na lixtica ruiz, ou na lixtica ruiz, ou na lebedica ruiz, e só só demos, zetme, a da lixtica balabosta, me chazem, Stellt ein de Hui, stellt sie sie ein gleich von non et son. Nicht nur a de Hui soll konne jetzt sein in a Woche dicken Zustand. Wo sie genug am Hot mehr nicht, wie die Sachen, wo sie seine Mucher auch um kann und sie nicht ankommen. Nur a richtige Balaboste, Buitil Hui, begaschmi, sa vielen gaschmi sich Sachen. In a Sami Neven, a da soll sein a Hui sa Freiliche. In welche mit Praven, Schabossin, mit der ganzen Freilichkeit und Lebendigkeit und Breitkeit von der Schabos, Allah es kam und bekam und mit Kreukedisch. Praven dort, ja, mit dem Tee, was sie werden angerufen hat, dass sie mir ein und mir ruft allein, dem Schabos, was durch die Werte sei, ja, mit dem. Mommy, can I share something? But promise you won't get upset. Of course. Um, I'm not sure I really believe in electricity. Why, my love? Well, where is he? Electricity is the source and the life of our lives. He's beyond us and he's also within us. But I don't feel him in my life. Honey, he isn't in your life. He is your life. 
and my life and the life of all. The power of all powers. Electricity is lighting, heating, cooling. You mean electricity is all of us put together? Brilliant question. No, he's not the sum total of all powers. He is one, and we are one with him, a part of him. So electricity breaks up into parts? No, no. We're not a part of him like a slice of pizza. We are partial expressions of him. So we're electricity? Definitely not. Electricity is us, but we're not him. He's infinitely greater than us all. He is forever one and only. And yet through each new electrical device, another limited aspect of electricity is born into the world. You would just believe that? I know that. It's self-evident. Honey, as you get to know yourself, it becomes ever more obvious that you are part of a greater self. But religion is such a turn-off. Look at Freddy. He's an atheist, and he's so cool. Freddy's a fridge. Whether he believes it or not, he's cool only because of electricity. If we're anyways part of electricity, then what difference does it make if I believe or not? Will electricity punish me? Will he blow my fuse? We are not punished for our disbeliefs, but by our disbeliefs. When we deny electricity and go against his will, we are really going against what we truly want deep inside. Service is not oppression, but self-expression. Is that why Kobe the cook machine had a sign on him that said out of service? Uh-huh. Mommy, what happens to us when we die? Is there light after death? We never die. We just get unplugged and return back to electricity. Huh? Sweetheart, we're not lamps. That's just our bodies. We're light. We come from electricity, and to him we return. Well, what about bad guys? They do evil, but in essence they're not evil. They're just really confused and do bad because they think, this is my power and my strength and I can do what I please. Well, what happens to them when they die? You mean unplugged? Oh yeah. Evildoers are in for a big shock. They too will discover how all along they were a part of him and actually wronged and betrayed their own self. Mom, one more question? No, that's it. This really isn't light bedtime conversation. But I'm so turned on. It's time to get some sleep. Good night, my bright boy.